Welcome back! Due to a number of questions on the server, we decided to provide you with a short tutorial on packaging the advanced framework. A number of you were struggling with issues related to packaging your advanced framework project or ensuring your application has the desired startup. And we hope this tutorial will help. Before I start, however, I have to stress the fact that this is by no means an extensive tutorial on how to package an Unreal Engine project. This tutorial merely intends to provide you with an overview of the things you have to observe specifically when packaging an advanced framework project and assumes that you have a general grasp on how to package an Unreal Engine project. Apart from that, I also need to warn you that even if you observe everything we mentioned here, you might run into issues from other sources not related to the advanced framework that we cannot predict and consequently will not cover in this tutorial. Furthermore, in this tutorial, we will focus on packaging applications for Windows. Although if this proves useful, we will certainly add a second tutorial on packaging for Quest and maybe even more. So without further ado, let's get started. The key to successfully packaging an advanced framework project lies in the correct project settings. Projects are packaged starting from maps outward, covering all assets used in set maps. Consequently, the Maps to Package setting is the best place to start preparing your project for packaging. You find the Maps to Package setting in the Project Settings under Project Packaging. It's basically an array of maps from your project. An Advanced from a Core project has all example maps added here by default. However, those will not be useful for your application, so you should remove them all and add the actual maps of your applications like this. And remember to always use the persistent map or world map of the level in this step. The next thing you should do is open the asset manager, also in the project settings, and check that all data assets of the project are covered here. This is of special importance if you added a primary data asset to the advanced framework or if you are using an extension like the Aquas extension. As an add-on, the Aquas extension, for example, is embedded into a project that has advanced framework core project settings. In consequence, primary data assets like the article PDA, for example, are not added to the asset manager by default, and you have to do that yourself before packaging your project. To do that, add a new entry to the asset manager, Give it a name by which you can recognize the data asset and then enter those two references to the actual primary data asset. Data assets created using those primary data assets as template do not have to be entered here. However, if you created a child from an existing primary data asset or created a new one, you must enter it separately. The last thing you need to be aware of is the intro map. The intro map is the first map that is loaded when your package build is started. Forgetting the intro map is a common error when packaging a project. If you can package your project successfully, but it does not start, or the intro is looped like this, I would start by checking the following things regarding the intro map. First, go to the project settings and ensure that the intro map is part of the maps to package in array. It's not there, so let's add it. Now let's have a closer look at what options you have here. If you want to make your life easy, you can use the advanced framework standard intro map or a copy thereof. In that case, open the map and find the intro screen actor. Ensure that the level data asset here in the level to load setting is set up correctly, as is the level it refers to. If either of them are not set up correctly or missing, your package build will probably not start. Next, go back to the project settings and enter the intro map as game default map. The game default map is the first map that is loaded whenever you start your package build. Now, the startup of your project should look like this.
Some of you expressed concern regarding the seemingly double transition caused by this setup. In that case, you can just set your menu or any other map of your experience as game default map and it will be loaded directly upon startup. If we, for example, set the Aquas menu as default map here, our package build, if we did everything else correctly, will load the Aquas menu as first map with the usual transition. With that done, your project is ready for packaging for Windows and the process should be completed successfully. Finally, I hope this helped you avoid the most common pitfalls when packaging your advanced framework project. See you soon. Bye bye.